Okay, in this video, I'm just going to show you how to add um, a new field to a database as a, in a different format, using a different control. So in this question, I'm going to add in um, year group as a radio button. So I'll show you how to do that first. So what I need to do is go into design view. Okay, and I'm just going to look at my control section, which is here. It's quite a big section. Okay, and if you basically what I'm going to have for my year group is I want a section of radio buttons. So for each year group, so there's five year groups going from year seven to year 11. And I want students to be able to select um, their year group from the selection of radio buttons. So I'm going to make this bigger, my form bigger so I can fit my uh, radio buttons in. And you'll see I've added some additional fields to my database um, that are not on here. So I'm going to show you how to put those in. Um, basically, if you don't have that list available to you, if you click on add existing fields, um, and that will just appear. So I've got gender here, which I need to add on because I want students to be able to add that into their form, year group and tutor group. Now year group and tutor group and gender, I'm going to use a control um, for students to enter that data in. So I'm going to add the field once I've added the control and you'll see how that works in a minute. I'll just close that for now. All right, so because I want to add, if you want to add an individual radio button, that's not, so I want to add five in a group for one field, uh, which is year group. If you want to add just one um, radio button, then you'd use the individual one here. I'm gonna use this option, option group selection here. So if I click on it, and then I go to draw out my option group so i'm going to make that quite big and then this window will appear um, and then i need to type in in this part of the wizard what i want the names of my radio buttons to be what i want the labels to be so i'm just going to write in the labels and one underneath each other as they would appear yeah so I'll just put the year groups in and yeah 11 and then I'm going to go to the next part of the wizard so this is like a little wizard okay so it asked me um, do I want one oh hold on I need to put in another one here for um, no option selected so I'll just add that in you should always it's always good practice to give the users of your form an option for none or um, no I'm just going to so if there's no year group selected, let me just change that. Okay, so it's good to always give that option as well. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to, it says, do you want a default choice? Um, uh, and I'm going to just leave that as yes. And my default is going to be the no year group selected. So basically what would happen is if a student doesn't enter and their year group in, it will automatically assign no year group selected to their record in the database. So that's what we need to do there. And then we're just going to go to next. And then it's asking, what value do you want to assign to each option? Now, when I set up my year group uh, field in my database, it's already there. Um, I assigned it as a numerical uh, data type, so it's set as number. Now, I want to put in appropriate numbers to represent um, the particular year group. So I'm going to change these values. They, did, they come up by default from one onwards, but I want to change year 7 to 7, year 8 to 8, year 9 to 9, year 10 to 10, and so on. I'm going to, for no year group, I'm going to assign zero for that one. Okay, and then I'm just going to press next on that and now it's going to ask me wh um, where do i want the uh, data to be stored for this particular uh, this uh, radio button option so i need to click on store value in this field and i need to select the field so it's year group so any option that the student selects from the form and um, that will automatically be stored in this field called year group so that's that and if I press uh, next, it will then ask me what kind of design, how I want my form to look. So you can choose to have it as radio buttons like this, 
check boxes, tick little boxes or toggles like this so a person can, can select from different buttons. Um, I'm going to leave it like this and then you can actually change the style of the outside of your options. This is what it will look like finally. So you can have a little raised one, shadowed or sunken. You need to think about who's going to be using your form and that will allow you to determine um, what kind of style you have. I think I'm going to go for shadowed on there and then finish. Now what caption do I want for my option group? Um, the caption that I'm going to add in is going to be year group. Okay, so I'm just going to call it year group. When you're um, when you're doing this, you need to think about how to make it clear. So year group would be um, would be suitable, but if we just write it as a question, it might be clearer for students uh, to understand. Yeah, so that is going to be the caption for that control. So that would prompt them to select appropriately. If we just put year group, it might not be as obvious what they need to do. So if I press finish, here is my little radio button. So if I go to form view, there it is. Now I can adjust um, the formatting of this and I can move this around because we need to look at the use of the space on the form as well, um, according to the question. So I can adjust all of this in design view, the same as you would with anything. So I can just right click on this and I can change the back color of this to match um, the rest of my form if I want and I can change the color of my text to make it stand out. Same as I showed you before. Um, so yeah, you've got to kind of decide. You can adjust the size of it also. So I can adjust the size of my caption as well. I can also move this around. So depends on depends on where I want it really. I might move it down slightly so it's a little bit more separate and then move the caption as well. Um, and then I can make it a bit bigger still maybe. You've got to think about um, the space that you have uh, there. So again, I've shown you how to use the format painter. So you could use this for this also. I can make these a bit bigger if I want to. Um, maybe change the font to match what I've got on here. So I've used Berlin Sands. Okay. Okay. So I can just go in and change those according to the look that I want. Um, I said this in another video. Um, this has never come up before, so I'm really not sure how it's going to be worded in your exam. Um, but you're going to have to read the scenario quite carefully because um, I'm assuming it's going to be quite a free thinking question and you're probably going to have to design a form according to the question and you're going to have to interpret what they're asking for as well. Um, I think I should make this quite a bit bigger. So maybe, oops, it's a bit too big. Okay, so I'm just doing this according to what I think. You, of course, um, will adjust the design of your form to what you think is most appropriate. Um, so yeah, that's what we would do here. And then I can see how that looks. Am I happy with that? Mm, I can still make some adjustments. I'm not really happy with the positioning of it. So I probably will move that around. But the main thing is that students can select their year group from here. I think the caption is clear. So that's how we would set up um, radio button options.